Okay, so I've already um, started playing. I've not got very far, probably, what, half an hour, 30 minutes, something like that, into the game. Um, it's already had quite a few jump scares, still getting used to all the controls and stuff. Um, but I thought it would be quite fun to do a bit of a recording to upload. Um, managed to get this game in the Epic sale for a reduced price being in the sale plus I had a 30% off coupon so it made it a bit more affordable because normally I think it's about 50 60 pounds which is quite a lot obviously um, so yeah anyway here you go let's have a go you can watch me jump out of my seat I should profile Nightingale about this page okay, I'm supposed to do something so this is like the uh, area where you conduct your investigations. Um, told me to profile Nightingale. I don't really know what I'm doing. There you go. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. So, I found a guy naked on a bench tied up. Been killed. Uh, and apparently there's something inside his chest. So we're going to go back up and have a look um, yeah oh there's something there right. They're just telling me to jump up I should think I should follow this dude he seems to know the best way um, yeah all the graphics are turned up onto ultra um, quite a visually pleasing game so far but well, like I said I've not played it very far into it so lots of good reviews um, played the first one I was quite late playing the first one I only played the first one a couple of years ago it's been out for a long time um, hey, I think oh. you made it back good I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Right, let's find this body. There you go, naked body. Big hole. That's not actually letting me do anything. I thought I'd get the option to examine it again. Okay, let's go to this dude, see what it says. Um, maybe if I go uh, I don't know, don't know what I'm doing, clearly. Right, what's that? Ah, here you go. Victim was uh, FBI. Oh, they've already told me all this. Okay. Let's. Okay. So. Look at the map, see if that tells me anything. Oh, I think it's, oh why two cars? Here you go. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Sorry, guys. Um, I 
already searched all around here. I was expecting to. Um, get hey, some. Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the ridiculous. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Oh, that was quite funny, but it hasn't really helped. Okay, I don't know where I'm going now. I'm at the picnic area. Murder site. Can't get through there. So, so I want to check another area to see if there's anything else. Um, well, the girls can investigate the crime scene, figure out what happened to Nightingale. Oh, hang on, here you go, there's some more clue bits. Right, these bits you've got to um, pin up on the board. Sometimes doing this unlocks other things as well. Um, I'll work out where this goes. There you go. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no yeah. sense. And that's now unlocked these. Right, so, uh, I don't know, Is, how do I zoom out, there you go, I'll go here I guess. <clears throat> no, I'm going to go here. Oh, no. There, whoops. There's more going on here than I'm seeing I need to examine this body properly back in town. Uh, and then what as well. Right. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. Okay. See what I can find inside. Fine. So that will probably now give me an option. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. So it's got full uh, ray tracing, which is quite fun when you look at the puddles. That's what ray tracing is all about, puddles. Right, let's go back to town. Cool. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after deer test. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the O'Deer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Oh, very nice. Thanks. All right. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Guess that'll be the gate. There you go. Oh, she's. Seems uh, like a nice town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Um, yeah, she's wearing a Christmas jumper, which is quite fun. Perhaps I should have worn my, my Christmas hat. Oh, it's not even here. Oh well. Power station thing. I wonder if I'm supposed to be exploring places like this, or I should just follow. Just I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Oh, okay. Can let me in. No, I can't go in. Ah. Is that a 
kid's lunchbox and Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Cool. We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. Okay. Oh, weapon upgrade. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mighty place. I don't think I've even used my weapon yet. Um, uh, okay. Cool. So yeah, like I was saying before, um, I did play the, I was quite late playing Alan Wake 1. I played it on my laptop. Um, yeah, it's quite a good, good experience, fun game. I think it originally came out on the uh, PS3 maybe, yeah, PlayStation 3. Um, it was quite a big thing when it came out. If you like story based games then it's probably worth having a look. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. Tripod for a camera to record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. There you go. Case salt. Um, right, okay. So, so far, I've only um, really seen the wooded area. I've come up from a lake. I originally, when you start the game, you play as the guy who's um, on the bench, naked. So you start the game naked with a big fat belly. Um, and yeah, you, you basically get um, jumped by some like, ghost things as you're going up the hill. And then it- Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Yeah, and then it um, takes over the role as the FBI who are investigating that murder. Um, in the UK, I'd be getting in the other side of the car, but obviously I'm not in the UK, so... Well, I am, but not in the game. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Oh, nice. Looks cool. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Yeah, this is cool. Looks really good. Um, any of you guys who are old enough to play Silent Hill, the original, um, kind of giving those those vibes, were less foggy. Um, look. Yeah. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> fun job. How much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh, that rich, bittersweet nectar. Get it in the coffee world. Get it where you can. Get it now. Jesus, Charlie. Reminds me of someone that I work with. And it is sweet. Isn't it? 
Charlene, are you so comfortable as I am? You don't think the amount of hot half a meter beverages you don't have anything cool to do with it? Cool conversation. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> I mean, our float will be the belle of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float for sure. That looks amazing. This is my first Deer Fest, so I don't know what to expect, really. It is got any big plans for the day after the festival? It's known as the staying in and eating your body weight in pancakes day around here. You need to recover after all that celebrating. Well, I've got plans now by the sound of it. Oh, dear. I'll head straight to the old deer when I wake you. up. Oh, you won't be the only one. Take care. So uh, I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. I got it. What am I checking out? Um, I wasn't gonna check anything out, but I suppose if she's telling me that I am. Um, yeah, quite cool. I don't know if I want to go too far this way though, because you can run as well. I should probably run. Can't open this with my bare hands. Yeah, I think. Well, I guess there's probably going to be a uh, spy on that person just in case they're doing something they shouldn't be. Nope. Um, yeah. I guess I'll probably get to go that way later once I've been to the uh, diner. Who's this person? A little bit smart to be in town, clearly lost something. It's a bit weird how they don't really say a lot. Hmm. Okay. All right. Welcome back, Anderson. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Sheriff Break. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. Cheers. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Okay. You've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. Oh, nice. The fence was built just after. Yeah. That's exactly right. So what am I doing? Speaking to mm. some people somewhere. I can't believe that happened. Brookers, Brookers. I still feel like I'm going to be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. Excuse me. Take him up. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. Wow. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Um, I don't know, but the guy sat this side to the right looks pretty shifty, actually. Uh, right, why were you at Cauldron Lake? Or can you tell me what you saw? Okay, let's... Let's not interrogate them too much yet. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. Uh. We ran into these cycles in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of Satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. So that is kind of true because uh, when I was walking up as the man from the lake, you saw some flashlights. You couldn't see it was these guys, but I assume that's who it was. And then just after that, uh, got chopped up. So, uh, yeah, let's do X again. 
Why do you think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? I don't need to read out, do I? Cause the I masks and knives aren't enough. The, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. <laughs> cult of the tree. Oh, oh, and then we found a... The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. For this lady. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. So yeah, this is, um, like I said before, this is the office that you can go back to at any time and piece together the bits of investigation. And this is her, like, intuition part, I guess. Um, so when she uh, picks up that something isn't quite right or, yeah, you can come here and kind of work out in your head. Uh, let's just see what this one says. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Oh. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. Yeah, kind of knew that already. And let's see what that other thing is here. Map. Oh, it's a new place. Right, okay, fine. Cool. We're all good. Go back. Yeah, I think you found something. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Yeah. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Oh. Rumbled. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um... I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Quite impressed with the facial expressions on the character that I'm playing. Very realistic. Hello. Oh. Okay. So let's go back to these guys and just finish questioning them. A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies. They didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you, Saga. Cool. What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? Kind of awesome, I'm a writer. Mm -hmm. True crime. 
We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Trick. Perfectly legal. Well, there you go. Let's have a look to see if there's anyone else here that might want to speak to me. Take it easy. I seem to remember this place from Alec Wait, Alan Wake 1 and there was some drunk dude, I think. And I guess that's, I don't know, perhaps what she's referring to over there. The uh, waitress. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Nice. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But... Best not to take a person. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs, ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Wow, it's a grand entrance. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket whenever you're ready to take my money. Hey! Oh, a girl. Okay. Uh, where was I going? Down here. Yeah, this looks cool. Graphically, it's uh, really. So we nice share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. <laughs> I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Oh, yeah, look how dingy this place is. <laughs> As if. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Okay. Probably should uh, leave it here. And I might upload another video later on. Thank you for watching. Um, please, if you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and, and like. I uh, know it sounds really cheesy, but it does help out. I'm trying to grow the channel, so it would be uh, really appreciated. Uh, thank you, and see you again soon.